Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas, and today we bring you some exciting news. Canvas has pushed the online assignment type that allows our students to annotate inside of Canvas without any additional tools such as Kami or the uh, fix that we had before. So this is going to be under online assignments and you can select it upload a PDF and our students will be able to annotate directly. Let me show you how this is going to work. And Teresa, our wonderful Tech Tosa, is going to show you what it will look like from the student's point of view. So let's go ahead and create a new assignment. Let me just go to assignments. And you can create it from modules. I just went to do it from here. And let's create an assignment. Okay. And let's call this um, PDF um, annotations okay and then just like we do um we give instructions please annotate in the document to complete okay uh we're going to give it a point value it's going to be worth 10 points uh if you have assignment groups make sure you put it in the right assignment okay and over here what i want you to see is that under online okay now you have a new option it says student annotation so let's go ahead and select it and it's going to ask you if you have the document already on your course files or my files so if you've uploaded it to your course files or to your files in canvas you can find it there i'm just going to upload the file okay it's right here and i'm going to look for my pdf that i'm going to use it's going to be called annotation practice so i'm going to bring it in okay it is uploaded and now just like we always do uh, it's being assigned to everybody Okay, I will do a due date of uh, next Friday and also an end date of next Friday. And now I'm going to save and publish. Okay, so now the assignment is ready for our students to complete. So once our students come in, they'll be able to annotate and use all of the annotation tools that we have available in SpeedGrader. So stay tuned to see what it looks like from the student point of view. Thank you, Ricardo. So here I am in my modules and I'm going to look for the assignment. I click on the assignment and I click on start assignment. And from here, when we scroll down, you can actually see the assignment embedded here and all of these amazing tools that you can use without going anywhere. So let's go ahead and go over these tools. You can download, which you don't really need to do, but you can if you wanted to. You can go through the pages. You can also go through the pages just by scrolling through. You can rotate the page. You can zoom in if you need to, zoom in and zoom out. This one's a good one. You can also enter full screen, so if they wanted to take up the entire screen of their computer. And you could put it back right here, you can minimize again. But I'm going to assume that your kids are going to want to use it in full screen, especially if their computers and their screens are a little smaller, so let's go ahead and do it from there. So let's continue. So right now I'm using the arrow so I can just click around. So this next one is called point annotation. So I'm going to click on that and you'll notice the colors appear on the left and they can click anywhere and drop that point just like that. So if this was a map, you can tell them to drop it in different areas. Um, you could also use it for a question. Maybe a student is struggling with a question. They could drop it right there and they could leave me a comment. I didn't understand so maybe they did their best but in case they get it wrong we see that they probably need more review for that lots of different ways to use the pin or the point annotation right there okay the next one here is highlight so you click on that and again you have different colors that you could select on the left and you can go through i'll just show you with some text we can highlight some things here very easy it finds the text and identifies it and you can highlight and the kids can also say a little comment here as well if they wanted to okay which is a really great feature the next one up here is text so if they click on that then again they have the different colors over here they can choose a different background maybe they want a background so um so they can overlay it they can also choose the size let me go ahead and try it down here so we have one right here um here's the fish's mouth so i'm going to click right there and I'm just going to start typing. That's a little big. Maybe I want it a little smaller, but it doesn't really matter to me formatting, right? But so that's up to you. The kids can choose. All right. So the next one is strike through. 
So if they select that, then they can go through text and they can actually, actually strike through words. So perhaps you're doing word problems and you're trying to take out those words that are not as important. You can do that. I'm just randomly choosing <laughs> words right now. So very easy. And again, all of the things we do, we could add that comment if we wanted to. Okay, so maybe you want them to find proof, things like that. Find it and explain why they selected it. Lots of different ideas there. Our next one is this one, which is actually the pen. So it looks like a paintbrush, but um, here you can choose the different colors again. You can choose the different types of lines, small, medium, large. I'll just use medium. Um, like for example, this one right here, it takes a full minute for a sloth to move six feet across the ground. I believe that's fact. Them choose that and then again they could put a comment if they want. All right. We can use that in a lot of places here. We can use that here as well. Maybe we want the thick one. One, two, three, four, five. One, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure there's a neater way to do that. Please excuse my drawing skills. Okay, so the next one is a box and I think this will help us out too. So area annotation. So you can click on that. Again, you can choose your color and then you could stick it right here. So three times three. And that's much better than my beautiful drawing over here. So lots of different features. And if they didn't like what they did, they can always go back to it and they can throw it away. So, okay, they can delete it. All right, let me go ahead and take those out. Okay, and of course they would add their answers here. Um, I'm actually going to have Ricardo correct this for me or some of it. So I'm going to uh, maybe type in some of my answers. So for this one, I would type in 30. Maybe this one I actually want to write it in. So I'll use this one instead. You uh, can write it in. Lots of different things that you could do with your kids. There you go. And when I'm done, I go ahead and go back to minimize and then go all the way down and submit the assignment. And now at this point, I just wait for feedback or for my grade from my instructor. Thank you. So now that our students have submitted the annotation assignment, I am in that assignment and I'm going to go to SpeedGrader. So I want you to see that when I go to SpeedGrader, it's going to open a new tab. And then here I can see Teresa's assignment and what she did. So if we go in here, notice that we have the same tools annotation tools that the students have we've had this before so we could use that let's say let's see over here so she um, did this assignment let's say that if it was correct we could come in here and and uh, type something if we wanted to right and say good job so the same tools they have we have right over here it looks like uh, the student had a question so i could come in here and answer reply and be able to answer to that question okay so i can scroll down and again, I can look at the annotations that the student did. And I again, I have the same tools they had before. Let me go ahead and just circle that, right? I could um, add note if I wanted to and so on and so on. In addition, as you remember or you know, you can uh, grade it. You can add comments. And remember that if you wanted to do feedback through voice or video, you do have the ability to do that. So this is what it looks like when our students have submitted an annotation assignment. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosas. Have a great day.